How you all doing guys and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Soul, aka The Bodybuilding Banker. I hope you guys are well. So I get a lot of questions as to how I balance both the fitness aspect with investment banking and my other business ventures. So in today's video, I've decided to break down and go into five time <laughs> management tips I personally use that have allowed me to prioritize my work better and to get other things done. So the first and most important tip I'll probably give you guys is just planning your day. I know it sounds cliche, but for me, I try to wake up slightly earlier in the day and get a notepad and pen and literally just list my goals and what I would want to achieve in the day. But I go to one step further. I write down my MVP. So I define that as my most valuable priority. And I read a really interesting book called The One Thing by Gary Keller. I highly recommend it. And it talks about asking yourself the focusing question, taking a step out and saying, what is the one most important task I achieved today that makes everything else easier to achieve? And you think of it as a domino effect. If you go and achieve the most important and complex task, that makes all the other tasks easier. There are actually a number of actionable ways I personally use, which makes my life a lot easier and prepares me for the day. The first thing is just packing the night before. So I take some time to make sure that uh, my bags are packed. So say if I'm going to the gym, for example, I make sure all the equipment, the uniform I'm gonna use is packed. Say if I'm going to work, I make sure my suit is prepared. So it's just an easy transition and I can actually prioritize sleep. And with meals, say if you wanna eat healthier, for example, you can cook the night before to make sure that you have your meals prepared so that you don't have to be scrambling at lunchtime in work. Often is the case we don't have time and that's understandable. I personally have experience using meal prep companies, which I highly recommend if you do your research. One of the meal prep companies that I've used that are really, really good is Fresh Fitness Food. I actually have my link down below here um, and you can order your meals from them. So the second tip I'm gonna give you guys is the idea of time blocking. Now, what is time blocking? Time blocking is the idea of planning every part of your day and setting out specific time blocks in order to dedicate time to completing certain tasks and responsibilities. And the reason why it falls nicely is because the first point I gave you guys was planning and time block could be going into your calendar and saying, okay, from 10 to 2 p.m., I'm gonna dedicate specific time to make sure I complete this task. So the human brain needs guardrails at work, otherwise we fall into something known as Parkinson's law. So Parkinson's law is the idea that work expands so as to fill the time for its completion. So by scheduling time and dedicating it to work, you multiply your focus and you limit distractions. So there's this really cool quote I came across that says, in this day and age, you can't call anything a distraction unless you know where, what it's distracting you from. So going back to the principle of time blocking, if you know a certain time you've got a task to do, you can focus on it, you can limit distractions, and it just allows you to be a lot more effective and efficient and something I principally use, which has improved my life drastically. So the third tip I'm gonna give you guys is the Pomodoro technique. So this is a time management technique in where you focus for a certain amount of time and you have small breaks in between. So say if you wanna study for an exam, you focus for 20 minutes and you make sure in that 20 minutes, you remain completely focused and you avoid any distractions and then you set out a five minute break and then you go back to studying for 20 minutes. I often use this uh, technique when I'm studying or I'm going through a detailed piece of work, say I'm building a financial model, I'm doing some in-depth analysis or I'm even planning a YouTube video. And the idea is really good because it and make sure that you pinpoint what you need to do, you focus, and unless there's say a distraction like a fire, for example, God forbid, you are literally focused on that particular task. I came across these really interesting articles in the Art of Manliness, which talks about attention, and it splits attention into both uh, involuntary and voluntary attention. Now, involuntary attention is a basically attention where you react to external stimuli. So this could be a doorbell ringing, a notification on your phone, and voluntary attention is the art of actively trying to focus on a particular task at hand, such as reading a book. So the fourth tip I'm gonna give you guys is automating process wherever you can. And this is something that's made significant improvements in my life, my well-being, and I feel like I can get a lot more done. Now, the way I like to think of it is I ask myself, how much per hour is my time worth? So um, if I say my time is worth 50 pounds per hour, the way in which I answer this question is, if I automate this process, if I outsource it, 
is it less than the amount I say my time is valued? So I like to think of um, my YouTube, for example. I'm growing my YouTube thanks to you guys. I hope you guys keep subscribing. I do a lot of the editing for my Instagram and YouTube content myself, my clothing, I design the logos. However, it's taking up a lot of time. So if I outsource a YouTube video, for example, and it's less than the 50 pounds uh, per hour, I think it's worth it and I outsource it. The same goes with my nutrition. I used to cook my meals, but it was just a lot. It was really, really tiring. Every Sunday, I'll spend three to four hours preparing the proteins. So it'd be chicken, for example, cooking up so much rice, pasta, vegetables, and it just made me really frustrated and I never got a break. Now, I again, I use that same principle. I say, my time is worth this much. Can I outsource it? So I started going to meal prep companies and one of the meal prep companies, which I mentioned below is Fresh Fitness Foods. Their meals are amazing. They taste really, really good. And you can use my discount code below. So the fifth and final thing I'm gonna to suggest to you guys is just having planned rest breaks. You know, I go with the notion of work hard, play hard, but I always wasn't like this. I used to think it's important to just work consistently, have no breaks, and it just made me tired and frustrated. So the main benefit of having a planned rest break is that when you're slogging out, whether you're working at your job, you're, whether you're working on your business, whether you're working hard in the gym, at least you know that as difficult as it gets in a few hours, a few days, maybe a few weeks, you're gonna have fun. You're gonna have time to spend on yourself and it just gives you that mental break and allows you to go really, really hard because you know later down the line, you're gonna be reward yourself. And this is something that's definitely helped me. Well, thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Soul, aka The Bodybuilding Banker. I hope you found this really useful and I hope you can effectively and more efficiently manage your time and achieve all your goals. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the comments, what type of videos you wanna see. Application season is approaching. It's really, really important to make sure you get on top of your applications in order to get these jobs. As you know, banks recruit on a rolling basis and it's important to have a really, really good CV and a strong application, even if you don't have experience. And finally, doing your research. This will really allow you to stand out. I provide coaching calls to make sure that you prepare really well for your interviews. I also provide cover letters as seen on my website, which have been very, very promising and also successful in the likes of Deutsche Bank, Goldman Sachs. So please, if you need assistance, visit my website, book a call with me, book a CV clinic with me to make sure you achieve your desired goal. Thank you guys for watching and catch you guys in the next video.